One of the best things about the Upland Metaverse is your ability to earn passively just by owning virtual land in the Metaverse. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five ways that you can boost your earnings from the base of 4.9% annual yield. It doesn't take a lot of effort to boost your earnings to 14.7%, but that's not it. You can boost them even further. I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. I'm here to unlock the secrets of the Upland Metaverse. On this channel, you can find everything you need to build your Upland Empire. Expert tutorials, winning strategies, pro tips and tricks, and a lot more. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay ahead of the game. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the Upland Metaverse, that knowledge is truly your most valuable asset. As I mentioned, every single property in Upland generates yield. You can click on that property, whether it's yours or someone else's, and see what the monthly earning is. This property is one that I minted for just over 75,000 UPEX, which is the equivalent of $75, and you can see that its monthly earnings are just over 927 UPEX each month. Now if you do the math on that, that comes out to 14.7% annually. And I had mentioned that the base earnings was only 4.9%. If you were to go to this property right now, it's quite possible that you might see a different earnings amount. And if you do, that's because you have a different earning amount. Each upland season, your earnings reset to the 4.9% unless you completed a number of tasks in the previous season that will boost your upland earnings. And this is the first way that you can boost your earnings, by completing some of these tasks each season. Here you can see the six different seasons in upland, including their start and end dates. Now each season, upland defines a number of tasks that you can complete in order to boost your earnings. Here you can see the table based on the number of tasks that you complete, what your earnings will be for the following season. For example, during the blossom season, which is one and a half months long, the number of tasks that you complete will influence your earnings during the genesis season, as well as the two weeks following it, the buffer time between the seasons. For a complete list of tasks and everything you need to do regarding boosting your earnings during each season, there's more info in the description below. The second way you can boost your earnings, and this is even building on top of the earnings that you have set each season is by placing properties in collections. The easiest collection to create is the newbie collection. All you have to do is place any property into it and you will boost your already existing earnings by 10%. There are also collections like King of the Street of holding three properties on the same street and City Pro of owning five properties in the same city and here you can boost your earnings by 1.3 or 1.4 times respectively. There are standard, limited, exclusive, rare, and even ultra-rare collections that you can create, boosting your earnings up to two and a half times their existing earnings. Here you can see this Los Angeles property that I have is part of the Melrose Street Rare Collection, which provides a 2.32 multiplier on my existing earnings if I have three properties in that collection. You can even see this on the property card by clicking on the boosted earnings to see which collections this property is a part of and what the earnings payout will be. The third way to boost your earnings is also through collections, but a different type of collection. These are collections built through neighborhood development. Every month, Upland holds a competition where the top neighborhood in Upland is awarded a new collection. You can see here an example of that with the St. James neighborhood, which is in London. Some of the metrics used to calculate which is the top neighborhood is based off of the number of people who define that neighborhood as their home, the number of meta ventures there, and other factors. More on this topic in the link in the description below. The first step for your neighborhood is getting that initial collection, and it gives you a 1.3 boost multiplier when you hold three properties in that neighborhood. Moving forward from there, in the future, there will be another competition for all different communities that have already reached this collection status, whether it's just by having a collection in Upland during the city release, or through this competition that I just mentioned. Your neighborhood can continue to level up its boost by a factor of 0.1 each month, all the way until you're able to achieve an ultra rare collection status. For a complete list of all the neighborhoods that have reached this collection status already, check out the link in the description below or the upper right hand corner. The fourth way to increase your yields on a property is through layer two. Layer two refers to additional platforms or games that can be put on top of the Upland Metaverse. The same way that you can add applications to your phone, the same thing is true in Upland. If Upland is like your phone, Layer 2 are these additional games that you can add to it. 
And in these games, it's entirely possible for anyone to provide additional value to any type of asset. So if you own specific properties in specific neighborhoods, these games or application can provide you with additional bonuses, whether it be directly with Upix or with earning other tokens that are native to that game. And last but not least, the fifth way of increasing yields on your property is by purchasing a property for under mint. That means that you're paying less than what the first person who minted it purchased it for. The base 4.9% yield is applied to the original mint price. So if you purchase a property at 50% of the original mint price, you will actually be earning 9.8% yield on that property based on what you purchased it for. And then once again, if you're completing seasonal tasks and if that property is part of a collection, then those factors will also be applied to that property. Continue watching this playlist to see all sorts of videos that I've created about purchasing different properties and how to think and strategize about what properties might be good for you.